Hello and welcome to another video from WRL. In this video we're going to take a very quick look at the uh, TrainTech uh, DC signals. Um, typically uh, you would install them in pairs, um, so you'd have a distance signal uh, like this one here which is a two aspect SK3 and you have a home signal which is uh, SK2 and basically the idea is that the distance signal basically gives advance warning of the uh, home signal so the distance signal um, would be yellow when the home signal is red and the dis distance signal will be green when the home signal is green. Um, typically, um, for example, I have one of these at the uh, start of the uh, platform at the uh, Chippenham Junction then about a train length or, or a little bit longer than a train length back um, and that's the train plus the, the coaches and typically the longest train that you have uh, plus a little bit extra back um, I have this uh, installed to protect it and obviously you can have much more uh, complicated um, signaling setups but this is basically uh, a good way to get started now TrainTech have uh, dual headed uh, two aspect signals uh, they also have three aspect and uh, four aspect signals so we'll take a look at those in a later video and explain some signaling uh, basics but for today I just wanted to show you um, basically how these kits work and how we um, put them together so the train tech kit is uh, is pretty simple. Uh, it comes when you open that up uh, with a set of instructions. Basically, tells you what's in the contents. And you can see there it comes with the signaling kit, aluminum post, um, PCB with the signal lights on it, a one kilo ohm resistor, and this instruction leaflet. Um, in terms of uh, tools, uh, you're going to need a sharp knife. Probably want tweezers. Uh, going to need some adhesives. I use this uh, Loctite Super Glue Professional Liquid and you just need to basically create a little bubble with it as you squeeze it out and it's enough to uh, glue the signal together if you're all thumbs and you're not really confident about building them yet um, multi-purpose cement takes about 10 minutes to dry it's a little fiddly um, with some of these signal components but if you want to uh, take your time building it then uh, this might be an easier way to go and uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can see here how the uh, two aspect signal is put together, and you can see here um, how you wire it up. Um, it also comes with um, location board labels. So uh, down here, you can cut these out, it's just paper, and glue them onto the location board, which is that uh, little square right there. And uh, it also has a telephone on the side. Now, um, it also has this uh, kind of base connector that, that's in here. Um, I don't always use this because I find that it, my baseboard's a little bit thicker than normal, so uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, put the signal at the right height. Um, but it's uh, relatively uh, easy to put together, as you can see here. Um, all the pieces come together. The only tricky part um, I found is that when you cut out some of the pieces for the uh, cage here at the back of the signal, Sometimes, uh, no matter how careful you are, those can break. Um, I also found that the ladder uh, is very finicky. Uh, you basically need to make sure you've pushed uh, these two pieces together uh, exactly right, or else the ladder will not fit in there properly. It'll usually be uh, not long enough. And so if you find the ladder's not long enough, it basically means you haven't pushed uh, these two uh, close enough together. Um, the PCB. It's uh, pretty straightforward. This is common, which uh, goes through the resistor back out to the uh, power source, and then these correspond to the uh, other two lights on the um, on the circuit itself. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. So um, here is the uh, plastic uh, bits that you get. Now the coolest thing with this, this is actually the plastic piece off of a two aspect signal. But you can see here they provide the three aspect signal head and back four aspect signal head and back. They also provide the um, two aspect or double headed um, base as well for the uh, the signal heads. So even though you don't have all the other extra pieces, uh, you can actually use uh, the other two to um, essentially assemble uh, signal heads for maybe a gantry or something like that. And the coolest thing is uh, these uh, two millimeter LEDs that I use um, fit inside these signal heads really really well um, so if I pull one of them out you'll be able to see that they, uh, they drop in there quite easily so I take the uh, 
two millimeter LED um, and show you it'll just sort of fit in there uh, quite readily. So uh, if you want to scratch build uh, a couple of extra signal heads, uh, you get at least uh, two more out of uh, one of these plastic kits. Um, now what else does it come with? You can see here it comes with the uh, PCB and it comes with the tubing uh, for the signal post and it comes with this uh, one kilo ohm resistor that I'm using here and um, that's basically it. It's uh, relatively straightforward so normally what I do is um, I put together this little circuit so uh, I have uh, two bits of track um, I have uh, cut the Bachmann analog uh, cabling so normally it goes to like a power clip so I've cut the power clip connector off and soldered the wires directly to the rails um, and I've got two fish plates and another piece of track and I basically have just jammed these uh, metal uh, or these uh, kind of uh, test cables that I got with the Arduino and they're just kind of jammed in between the two rails and uh, it's uh, pretty easy to, to kind of keep them in there and they're connected into this uh, baseboard and you can see here uh, we have two wires um, one wire that's uh, going to go to our uh, green or uh, yellow signal um, connection point then we have the common here in white uh, that goes through the resistor and back to the uh, returning rail so to test them what I normally do is I'll, I'll test one of these first so I can show you how I do it so before I build a signal uh, I just want to make sure that the uh, LED PCB uh, works properly uh, it's quite easy to do that so I'll just set that down and uh, I'll see if I can do this. Oh, it doesn't. So it shows up on the camera. So I'll move that over there a little bit. And basically, you take the white one, which is common going to resistor, and you touch it against uh, the bottom or the top wire there, top uh, connection point. And then you take the other one and you touch it against that. So I can't actually see what it's doing. So oh, just up if you turn the power up to on the on the controller. So there you can see that's red and then the other one should be green. And it's uh, moving about a little bit because basically I'm just touching the connection there. So I don't know if you can see that because my hand's in the way so let me um, try to position these so that you can see it. Yeah, there's red and there's green. So you see I'm just testing that the board works and you can see there that it does so I know that if it doesn't work after I've assembled it I've broken it rather than it being defective um, now the next thing to do uh, is to assemble it and the instructions are pretty straightforward uh, if I show you the instructions um, they um, basically have a list of the items that come in it, some tools that you need, basically a craft knife, uh, some tweezers, some adhesives. I use the uh, Loctite Super Glue Professional Liquid. And the nice thing with this is you can just push it and it creates a little bubble and you just have to touch it against the thing and it'll glue. Um, but it sets pretty quick within about four or five seconds. So if it moves out of the way, uh, you have to be fairly quick or else you're going to have a problem. Uh, if you want to take your time at it, uh, the multi-purpose cement um, will take about 10 minutes to become tacky and then about an hour to glue properly um, but that's another way to do it you may find that with the multi-purpose cement that building the um, kind of cage at the back is a little tricky um, it shows you how to assemble it so you can see there it's uh, pretty straightforward and then uh, it shows you how to wire up the signal as well it comes with a bunch of location boards um, down the bottom here and basically these are just labels, so you just uh, cut them out and it's just paper and you just uh, glue it to the location board which is that little um, box right there that's uh, sitting on the front of the signal. So um, we'll show you this uh, distance signal that I uh, assembled. So what I do once I've uh, built the signal, I want to make sure that the LC, or sorry, the LED board still works. Um, so what we'll do is we just attach this, oops, sorry. Uh, this is a distance signal, so it's going to be uh, yellow. Maybe. Yeah. It's going to be yellow and green, like so. Um, 
so it's relatively uh, easy to uh, put together. So uh, now that I've got that tested, uh, what I'll do is I'll take the soldering iron, I'll solder some wires for the common, the uh, green and the yellow, and then um, I'll usually use a different color wire, I'll just uh, mark it, and then um, basically I'll wire that into the uh, main bus um, of our uh, signaling system on the layout and uh, go on and, and build the next one. So um, there you have it basically, that's uh, the train tech uh, system, so um, it's relatively easy to use, it's relatively inexpensive and uh, the results are pretty decent and like I said you get a couple extra signal heads out of it uh, which you can use then to um, maybe build some extra signals for gantry or scratch build some stuff. So uh, I hope you found the video useful, I hope you found that it's uh, very easy to put these things together and uh, we'll show you in an upcoming layout uh, update uh, the signals in action. Uh, we'll also do a couple of uh, videos on uh, how to uh, design the signaling on your layout. And basically what we'll do is we'll walk you through the uh, signaling setup on, on the double rail layout. Alright, so that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoy the video and until next time.